Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thundermus Fishing Tips. I'm out here with Enzo, we're out on Lake Erie and it is the coming up to November here and I'm excited because we're going to be running some jig and spoons and working some jig and spoon magic for those fall smallmouth bass. Now I'm out here in 44, 45 feet of water and the water temperature right now is about 54 degrees as it's starting to cool down and we're just going to work these jigging spoons. I've got the sting nose jigging spoon on today and if you haven't seen them yet folks they're new this year from Thunder Mist and the whole key with these is they're very realistic looking and they've got the hook right at the head where the fish hit and all we're going to do is work these jigging spoons off the bottom jig them up let them fall down and stay within about a foot off the bottom and look to see if we can get into some of those nice fall smallmouth bass and what happens in the month of uh, October and November in the fall those smallies start to school up in this deeper water so we're gonna we're gonna stay in the 40s we're gonna go in the 30s we might even venture into the 50s and see if we can get into some nice smallmouth bass as they start to school up and feed up and get ready for the winter and they're feeding on bait fish so jigging spoons are a great choice this time of year anything that's basically bait related they're honing in on and hitting so we're hoping to have ourselves a great day so stay tuned folks so glad you could join us there was a good hit. oh yeah nice solid hit did you see that Enzo? nice hit he just hammered it right on the way down there nice and i am in 42 feet of water right now okay you don't want to bring these fish up too fast either now this deep water you want to take your time and bring them in otherwise their air bladder comes up and they have a harder time releasing them but this feels like a decent fish oh i love using jig and spoons folks i'm in my glory out here today in the month, you know we're in the november here nice and cool weather but not too cold we got a nice chop on the water you see i threw a drift sock out there and the reason for the drift sock is it just allows us to drift a little bit slower as the wind's blowing. It keeps us with a slower drift, which allows me to fish more vertically. And that's what I want to do to be in control of my jigging spoon. You want to be able to fish as vertically as possible. Oh yeah. And there's a nice smallie right there. That's a great start to the day. There's a chunk. There's a chunk right there. That's a nice solid bass, eh? Beautiful. Okay, nice little hook set right in the side of the mouth. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to this one because we're gonna get a picture, Enzo. We'll get a picture for Instagram, so we'll put him in the live hook because I want to get my line back out there real quick. Fish oh, on, you know. Like I say, where there's one, there's more, yeah, Enzo. That's for sure. There he is. Good one? Ah, he's okay, not as big as yours. Actually, that's a chunk, Enzo. Nice fish. We got him. Look how thick he is. Come on, that's a dandy. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> that's a good fish. Hey, where there's one, there's more. He came out of 40, 40, 45 feet. He just drifted just a bit deeper. Oh yeah, that's a nice chunky fish, Enzo. Hey, that's a nice fight. He Beautiful. hit it on the ball, did he? Yes, he did, yeah. Nice. Okay. Right back in he goes. Nice. Hey, so fish on, strike, fish hey, on. Strike again, eh, Enzo? Yeah, I, he came, he hit, yeah. I missed him, and yeah. then he circled around and came back. He came back for it, eh? Yeah. Nice, that'll happen too, eh? Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's about the same size, it feels like, as the last one. Well, you still have the net with you, so. Yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a nice fish, Enzo. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> jump there, eh? A little frisky. Yeah, a little smaller than last one, but that's a big fish. Yeah, a little smaller. Yeah, yeah there, there he is. Just a little guy. Yeah, no, he's a solid two anyway. Okay. How deep did he come? 46? Yeah, 45, 46. 45, 46 feet. Yep. Give me the magic step. This one, this one came up fast. What a hit. Yeah, he hammered it and he came up really quick. What a nice, with this braided line, I'm running the Thunder Braid today. And when you're fishing this deep water like we are today, the braided line gives you a great advantage because 
you've got a direct hook set, you've got a lot of line out there, and you want that direct hook set between you and the bass, and of course I'm running a thunder carbon or a floor carbon leader, I never run straight braid right to my hook. You get back in there because, you know what I said, where there's one, there's more. This one came up right away, and now he's just staying down. you got to watch that drift sock get around that sock. But again, that drift sock is key to keeping us fishing vertical. Wow, what a ride we're having out here today, folks. Okay, where is he? That's a good fish. At least it's a strong fish. Anyway, there he is. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It's a chunk. It's a chunk. Just like, just like footballs. Look at this. That's <laughs> chunky. Look how wide, how wide that fish is compared to my hand, my big hand there. Big wide fish. Isn't that nice? Okay. Let's get if I can get that out. There we go. But what a nice chunky fish that is. Hey? You know what? That's worth another photo. Another quick photo and we're gonna get him in. Fish on Evo. <laughs> I, I was watching the monitor and yeah. we went over a big, big school of bait fish. Oh yeah, big ball of bait fish? Yeah. And he was right under it, was he? He must have been right under it. Perfect. Any size to him? Uh, he might be a little bit bigger than the last one. Nice. You need the net, Enzo. Yeah, actually, yeah, he's feeling a little bit heavy. Yeah, here you go, Enzo. Thanks. Maybe I'll hook into one where there's one, there's more. Yeah. Nah, he's a little bit heavier. Yeah? Good fish? Yeah. Oh, like I said, with his one, one. <laughs> Double oh, header. I just lost him. Oh. I just lost him. He just came off. I'm going to get him back again. Oh, he, he, he's a little bit better, yeah. Oh, that's he a good one, yeah. Side, yeah. yeah, see they're chunking up, they're, they're, they're on the feed. They're Big feeding, time. eh? Yeah. Very nice. Too bad we didn't get mine. We've got a nice yeah. double header going there. Okay, well, let's put them back in and get another one. Yeah, there could be more. There could be more. We'll get right back down there again. These jig and spoons are on fire, folks. On fire. It's that enticing fall. Oh, there he is there. That's enticing fall. Erratic action and looks like a wounded bait fish. And these bass are just hammering these baits today. Wow, that's not a big one. Hey, you missed one, eh, Enzo? Just missed one. Oh, it's unbelievable. Okay, let's get him back in. Folks, this fall fishing is just nothing short of fantastic. If you've never used jigging spoons or you haven't fished out in the fall, you just gotta give it a try. The month of November, you don't know what to fish for. Bass, perch, trout, everything's, everything's biting. But I'll tell you, it's kind of hard not to fish for bass when the bite's on like this, and that jig and spoon bite is just phenomenal. Folks, I want to tell you, we're having a great day out here. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Thunderbiz Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. And you got one, I too. I got a nice one, too. Nice one? Wow, that was a good fish. Tony, you on, too? On. Yeah. Folks, this is unbelievable <laughs> fishing. <laughs>